What's up guys, Knife Fanatic here. Today we're gonna be looking at a knife from CJRB. This is the uh, CJRB Scoria. And this has been out for, I believe a while now, probably a few years, I think. I saw this knife and I just really liked the overall design of it. Um, we. There's an, uh, an option also for G10 scales. If you want some black uh, G10, this is like a burgundy um, micarta, but pretty thin knife. Um, we have a titanium pivot collar here with titanium th uh, thumb studs, AR RPM9, blade steel, which is CGRB's uh, proprietary uh, blade steel made in-house. Um, I believe titanium backspacers, or sorry, uh, standoffs as well. Titanium milled pocket clip, and that looks really nice. I like this um, pocket clip, and it has like a, a hidden screw, which screws from the inside of the scale there which is also reversible um, centering it looks like it's a little bit to the left there but um pocket clip looks like it's uh pretty nice there it's not too um i guess like it looks like it'll go in and out of the pocket pretty easily because of the ramp right there going to and from the pocket we got a uh, flipper with no jimping on it but it's pretty uh pretty big so i don't think that'll be a problem hitting it um it's running on bearings let's see yeah bearings Liner lock. Uh, let's do a hardware check and check the weight on it real quick. So coming in at 3.5 ounces. And it looks like T8 for the pivot screw. Yeah, T8 for the pivot. T6 for the two body screws there, and I'm assuming the pocket clip as well on the inside. So yeah, let's go ahead and fire her open. Whoops. There we go. Man, that deep. What the? Okay. Um, access to the lock bars. It's okay. It's just kind of like a flat lock bar there with a sort of a, a ramp to it. Um, nice forward finger choil there. Plunge grind is uh, about where my fingernail is, so you got all this to sharpen. Yeah. Nice swedge up here on top of the blade drop point blade here's the serial number made in china we got a lanyard hole there um internals we got a little milling in the internals there there it goes feel really good choked up in that forward choil there and then back here as well I can still get a pretty uh, good grip on it solid four finger grip there and then choked up there it's a pretty long knife uh, let's go ahead and let me turn that off it's a pretty long knife so looking at eight inches overall with a cutting edge of 
uh, just a hair over three inches there. Um, wow, I, I don't know what's going on with that lock bar. There's not a... <laughs> Okay, action is man I don't know what this lock bar is just not yeah I'm gonna have to say that this lock bar is just not not it like you have you know a double detent pretty much because well until the the detent ball climbs onto the to the blade there I mean you don't have there's not a lot of room for this lock bar to move and so you really have to like get in inside of here. Man, that's just not, that's not good. I don't like that at all. I don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> like I really, I wanna like this cause it's just, it looks really nice. It's comfortable, ergos are great. But this lock bar is just really ruining it for me. Like, I don't know, like it just doesn't, oh, it, it's not, it's not it for this knife. I don't like it. The lockup is about, uh, what is that, like 25, 30% maybe there? And another problem is that this, the back flipper there, you don't have a whole lot of room. I mean, the deployments are are good. Like the thumb stud works great. You know, you can reverse flick it. You can already see it's, I'm having to press so hard that it's like bending my nail there. I mean, I usually cut my nails at this point, so. But they're not even that that long. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm probably gonna end up returning this knife, which is a shame. You can, uh, can you push button this? Almost, let's see if we can do it. Yeah, you can push button it. You just I don't know, the detent is so soft on this. <clears throat> Light switch works well. Yeah, the, the pocket clip, it, man, that's probably the, the most comfortable pocket clip I've ever felt. Because it's nice, it's just so nice and flat and contoured. Really nice. And it just looks elegant and seamless. There's no screw, you know, screw visible there. All you have is those two body screws, a lanyard hole, and you know, this little cutout for the pocket clip to be on this side. But 
Man, this is a shame. Well, guys, hope y'all enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll see you in the next one. Knife Fanatic out.